Hey drummers, especially new drummers, I quickly want to talk about just some cymbal stand maintenance and uh, how to basically prolong the life of your cymbals. Okay, so something that's quite important, especially for younger drummers and maybe the parents who don't know about this because their son or daughter maybe just started playing drums. Um, let's talk about what is underneath these felts. So I'm going to take this wing nut off. Okay. And I have a felt, obviously. I like to have the felt at the top. But underneath the felt, okay, obviously we have the stem of the cymbal stand, and then you're going to see this plastic thing. Well, this plastic thing is super important, okay, because it's covering the, well, the tread for one, but also metal. And you never want metal on metal. So if I was to pull this off, you can see that there's this sort of an upside-down T-shaped um, plastic nut that goes on like that. So that needs to be replaced once in a while. So this one's not looking too bad, but the symbol does rub on it. So you can kind of see if you look real close, the symbol does want to rub on it. And once it starts to wear out, you need to replace that. They're fairly inexpensive. You can buy like a bag of them, you know, and then have a bunch in your, uh, you know, in your little toolkit, whatever. But so you're going to go felt first, okay? And make sure there's some of this showing. If, if this is up like that, that's bad because the symbol is now touching the metal, okay? So we're down low. Okay, and the symbol, the weight of the symbol should hold at that, but make sure you've got at least half an inch or what you see more plastic showing up at the top there. So now I can put my felt back on, okay? And then my wing nut of choice, which is my kind of a funky custom little made wing nut that I like to mess around with. Um, and, you know, tight to the point where the symbol is going to still move. You never want to crank it so tight. This is as tight as that goes. But you never want to have your crash symbols so they can't move. They need to move. That's the other thing. We're going to start dealing with cracks and splits. And that's how you also can crack symbols. I've had this symbol for about 10 years and it still looks brand new. Uh, while I'm here, let's talk about the, uh, the hi-hat. But I want to go over this kit. This is the student kit here at my studio. Um, so this is always the question. How do I repair this thing? or what's the problem, or my hi-hat's lopsided, or something's funny with it. So I loosen the clutch, okay, and I'm gonna pull this off. Okay, now I have the bottom symbol, which just simply rests on the hi-hat stand. Okay, there's nothing actually clamping this thing, it just sits there. So if I pull it off, you need to see a felt there, okay? What I've seen with a lot of the repairs I've been doing lately is hi-hat stands coming in with no felt. And there's either this metal washer or just this plastic uh, housing there. Um, we need to cover that up. We can't have a symbol sitting on that. I don't care if your symbol's cheap or expensive. It needs to be, this needs to be maintained. This little screw, uh, it angles the bottom symbol. I've never been a big fan of it. I leave it unscrewed. Um, if I need to tilt the bottom symbol for whatever reason, that's the only, this doesn't tighten your symbol. Okay, people ask me if this tightens the bottom symbol. No, this angles the bottom symbol just to get a different sizzle sound. So I'm going to rebuild this thing with the metal washer, okay, then the felt. So important, okay, that felt has to be there. And make sure it's a hi-hat felt and not a symbol, like a crash symbol felt. It can't be, it can't be one of these. It's got to be, you know, wider and thinner. You know what I mean? That sounds funny, wider and thinner. But you know what I mean? The diameter's bigger and it's a lot thinner than a uh, crash symbol felt. So at this point now I can put my bottom symbol. Bottom symbol, if it doesn't uh, tell you, usually they say bottom or top. The bottom one is usually heavier. So you can just sort of put them in each hand see which one feels heavier. This one actually says bottom on it. And then um, you're going to take your, and make sure with the clutch, the clutch has to be the nut and then felt, and then cymbal, and then felt, and then the top of the clutch. So remember, felts always have to be touching the cymbal. This is gonna maintain your cymbals for a long time. Where you want your height and all that stuff is very personal, but make sure that it's flowing smooth. If I, right now this is pretty flat sounding. If I do take that screw that I was talking about underneath here, and I tighten it, it just gives me more chick. So who knows, maybe I'll start using that thing. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty important as far as felts go and uh, symbol maintenance, but check those plastic washers and make sure you've got uh, a big hi-hat felt underneath your, uh, your hi-hat bottom symbol. All right, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.